New Mexico State's four-year journey through the college football desert as an FBS independent appears to be close to becoming to an end. Sources confirmed to KTSM tonight that the Aggies have officially received an invitation to join Conference USA as an all-sports member, likely beginning in 2023. NMSU would be joining the decimated league alongside fellow FBS independent Liberty and FCS powerhouses Jacksonville State and Sam Houston. Not so coincidentally, the NMSU Board of Regents have a meeting scheduled for Friday morning to address the, quote, consideration of a proposal for an athletic conference change, end quote. I'll let you connect the dots there. Now, there are still some details to be ironed out, chief among them an entry fee in the Conference USA that is reported to be $2 million. Sources told KTSM that the fee is unlikely to be waived for NMSU, but it's very possible it could be reduced from the $2 million. Now, it would be a small price to pay for the Aggies, though. By rejoining an FBS conference, they'd be guaranteed millions of dollars each year in revenue from TV deals and the college football playoff. For comparison's sake, NMSC received the FBS minimum of just $300,000 last year as an independent. And here's a timeline of how things have fallen apart and been rebuilt for Conference USA the last couple of weeks. Nine teams have officially left, and that number will likely reach 11 very soon as Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee State are reportedly headed to the mat. Now, Conference USA is in the process of rebuilding itself with the addition of these four teams. However, they need eight full-time members to be a full FBS conference by adding these four teams. They have seven total, so they still need to add at least one more. The Athletic is reporting the league would like to get to at least 10 total teams. If NMSU joins Conference USA, they would be in the same conference as UTEP for the first time since the Border Conference folded 60 years ago in 1961. Much more on this story on our website, KTSM.com.